All right, guys, we are back again with another Cryo Phoenix game. So let's go ahead and let's try to get started. So we have a lot of good opportunities in this matchup, especially with the mid lane TF, bot lane Kaisa, and that's pretty much it. While Rise, if I can catch him between Phase Rush Prox, we're gonna be we'll be okay there. So on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and start red side. Because what I want to do is I want to work my way to bot. Um, win condition-wise, let's go ahead and pull up some stats. Guys, as I always said, if you're looking to better your game and become the best and most effective jungler you can be, you're looking. You're going to always want to use websites. There are multiple of them. There's U.GG. There's Poor Professor, which is what I like using, and uh, OP.GG. So this game, well, I'm going to go ahead and take a looky-looky. Um, honestly, my win condition is going to be my mid or bot. My top laner is a 50-50 player. He is either going to do well or he's going to do poorly. Their best player is their mid lane. Their mid lane is actually looks like he's a smurf. He averages about 59% win rate and a 67% win rate overall in the last 84 games. So I'm definitely looking to make sure that he doesn't get that opportunity to hard carry. Alright, we got a pretty decent leash. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, so... Nidalee started bot lane. Well, at least he should. If, I mean, if Ryze literally gave a leash with like, nothing spent, then I'm gonna be... I would not only feel bad for Nidalee, but I would kinda laugh. And we're gonna go ahead and just try to match out that damage. Alright, gonna try to keep our monkey's agility. So, oftentimes, guys, what I see a lot of people doing with their clears is they just don't use their monkey's agility. Guys, this is literally a recurve bow worth of free attack speed. And I don't know why you guys aren't just, like, abusing it to high heaven. It's absolutely one of the strongest parts of your kits. And I kicked my controller again, so I guess that's just going to be a thing we're doing on today's uh, video. Alright, so with this camp, I'm going to go ahead and try to get a good angle... Again, guys, if you notice, I'm choosing efficiency overall over just, over trying, like, I'm choosing to always be auto attack, and that's what you guys should be doing. You should never try to reposition more with your auto attacks than just fucking doing it. A lot of people I see just, they spend so much time trying to orb walk camps. I'm like, guys, just, just auto attack it. Please stop that. Even if you have to be lazy like this, guys, this is better for you overall than just constantly beating out auto attacks. All right, so what we're going to do here, we're going to go for the double clear. So what the double clear looks like, guys, is where you kind of clear both these camps at the same time. The while Cinder Hulk Udyr can do this, it's a lot easier to do on Phoenix, in my opinion. All right, got, right, got to drag it just a little bit further back. There we go. All right, there we go. It's a little, it takes a little bit of setup, guys. And, of course, it's highly risky, but if you can get it all done, it looks nice. I don't know if it's actually... Oh, hey. Oh, wow. She actually knew I didn't have smite. She would have... I, I don't know why she backed off. I think she thought she was about to have to fight me, but mm, that's not true at all. All right. Um, right. I'm going to go ahead and just back. There's really nothing for me to do right now on the map, and I'm just better off going top lane. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and sell this, and we're going to go ahead and get this. Since we're only 5 gold, we're not going to use future market to walk off just yet. There we go. Just want to make sure that we don't accidentally get a future market proc for 5 gold. It would be literally just a waste of our time. Alright, so what we're looking at here, guys, is... Top lane is definitely in a position of strength. Oh, wow. They're actually tower diving. Tower diving and succeeding. Oh, wow. Oh, this Nidalee's pathing is pretty papegas. I do need to go get my Nidalee out of there. I mean, my... Uh... Ah. 
Bruh, I, I don't like this. Let's just get the hell out. I missed like. Bruh. How about we just cut our let's cut our losses or our successes and get the hell out of here. There we go. Alright. So what we're gonna go ahead and do here, guys, is let's go ahead and holy guacamole. That Nilly is looking for blood. Ugh. Sorry guys. My headset's dying and I'm not gonna lie, my headset's one of the most annoying things on the earth when it's dying. It's just, it will beep at me like 20 million times. On the bright side, we're, we're pretty ahead now. Comfortably ahead. All right, so the Nidalee decided not to punish me for um, overstaying. I think she should have known I'd overstayed and she could have just got, done my Raptor camp, but hey, I'm not gonna complain about her giving me a lead like this. Hmm. So it does seem like our mid lane is doing fine-ish, but we need we definitely need to start looking at making opportunities happen around the map. So I don't really want to gank a side lane right now until TF has been dealt with and he's ulted. Guys, one of the biggest things when you're against a TF is not respecting his ultimate. Because remember, any with a TF on the map, it pretty much entitles you to a... Once he's level 6, it's going to be a permanent... Worst case scenario is a 2v whatever. So 2v, uh, 2v3 at top, 2v4, uh, 3v4 at bot. AKA too risky. And guys, one of the biggest things I always, always talk about guys on the stream and as well as on these videos on YouTube is to try to make sure that you are doing your best to avoid unnecessary risk. Like literally, it's, it's the quickest way to lose games. Bar none. Like on this game right here, I have to. I have a couple of options to go ahead and win this game. I can go mid. I can go bot. I can go not really top because he's literally so far behind. But I may need to go top. But really, right now, my best case scenario is to go ahead and go mid, and just kind of try to put a lot of pressure on TF. By putting pressure on TF, I by default will be forcing him out of the opportunities to ult. Bruh. If you had landed anything there, anything at all, Oriana, we got a kill. Uh, does she have TP? No, she doesn't. Honestly, I'm, I'm wasting time right now, but what I'm going to do is just kind of shadow my uh, Oriana. She's kind of overextended, and this doesn't matter anymore because bot lane's where I need to be. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I think, yeah, if they stay, if they overstay their welcome, I may be able to come down there and kill them. Nidalee is actually pretty bad. No idea why she let me do that to her. But I am not... I am trolling right now, aren't I? Never mind. No, I'm not. I love shield bash, guys, by the way. Adds free armor on a drop of a hat. I think, honestly, the TF is just like, wait, what? Bruh, you're uh, you're not against others. You're against another Smurf, there, friend. You might want to dial that back. You might want to dial that aggression that back, there, friend. Though. Ooh. All right. Let's go ahead and do another double clear. So you want to auto attack that camp, auto attack this camp, and you don't want to walk too far down. You see, you see how the rage of the blue buff was starting to go down like a, a badly. Yeah. Right here at the tree is tree line is where you want to be. There we go. There we go. Good, 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 good. All right, I think I'm gonna just go for a full clear right now. That is, that's the ticket, friends. I mean, overall, look at that. 
A nice, healthy, uh, spamble shield, my friends. That's all these about. Nice, spamble, healthy shields. Hmm, I should probably be up there. Yeah. There we go. Uh, does she have alt? No, she doesn't. I really don't care about him throwing those things at me, guys. I really don't. Alright, let's go ahead and get our twin. Like, we really need our twin shadows. Like, I need to back. But, since I'm already on this side of the map, we were going to go ahead and go for another full clear. As you guys can see, I'm currently out leveling, like, pretty much everybody. And it does seem like my mid lane is uh, definitely good, strong win condition. Guys, remember that while you have some win conditions, you can see by stats. And statistically, you want to go for those. You need to be flexible. Like, if your bot lane was your original win condition, but your mid lane is suddenly just getting pop on, popping off, treat them like that. I actually had a game before this one where my bot lane was popping off. My mid lane was 151, and I did I played to them. And then when it turned around that she was our, my win condition, I played to her. Just about, you know, no, knowing when knowing when to swap, guys. Knowing when to swap. All right, we have our twin shadows, so let's go ahead and we're going to run it down bot. And we're just going to go for a kill. So what we're looking for here, guys, is we're going to look for a kill that we can go ahead and do something with. To go ahead and use that kill to get the dragon to get the first blood tower. Nothing, nothing, too, nothing too big. Nothing too big. All right, we do want to shadow bot lane. If we see a TF ult, we just run straight bot lane. Like, that's the only place TF could be ulting. Okay. Looks like there's a fight. Let's, let's, uh, let's leave. Good work. Ah, uh, I think they forgot I was there. Cryo Phoenix, you saw it from me first. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, that's actually freaking hilarious. Mm -hmm. Alright, so guys, one of the main problems with Phoenix Udyr, which I've constantly been telling you guys, is that... Phoenix just sucks at this. Like, this is really bad. Like, this is slow, and that's just not acceptable at, um... Okay, I gotta smite it. At high elo. Alright, so, uh, let's go ahead and gank bot lane again. I'll send it. And then we'll just run it down. Alright, wow. Kais is, like, literally, like, all the way back there. Holy crap, man. He has uh, Moby Boots. Oh, shit. If I had mana, I'd fight this, but I don't. So... I don't think he's dumb enough to... Mm, yeah, he's... Dummy. Bop! <laughs> Sorry, TF. 
we saw here first. Cryo Phoenix, baby. Six, zero, oh, and four, man. This is this is the games, man. These are the games. All right, I think I do think I, I'm uh, way overdue for a bash. So I was gonna go try to see if I kill that Kaisa, but I was like, eh. uh, I gotta hold the wave. I'll have to at least make sure that we're not wasting. Uh, I was about to say wasting cannons, and I missed the cannon. So let me. All right, I really do have a lot too much gold, guys. So um. Run. It's funny how quickly you can get people to haul tail out. Alright, uh yeah, let's get let's get magic resist boots. Let's do that. And you'd think I would remember to make the page, but I forgot again, so hmm. Guys, as I was hopefully said is hopefully after this one, I'm going to remember to go ahead and make a page for the Cryo Phoenix build so you guys can go ahead and download the item set. So that way, if you guys are ever curious about how do I build this, what items would you build meta, this is going to include everything. Bruh, can I farm a little bit? Ay ay ay. Let's go. I'm... I don't think people understand. I'm literally pinned away from that, those four. Hi. 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 Man, it's... I mean, they all died for Rift Herald, which is the dumbest thing you could do. Because we still have a Mountain Dragon... And a mountain dragon does the same. It has a lot of pushing power too. All right. It seems like the enemy team has given up emotionally. I love doing that. Wee! And we're out. Holy crap! We're seven zero and six. This build is actually crazy. Alright, let's go ahead and we're going to go for our next power spike, guys, which is going to be at 1500. That is when we're going to be able to afford our beautiful, delicious gimme. Oh, wait. That is, my friends, is when we're going to be able to afford the actually useful, ever important. Oh. We don't get a bison hook if we won. Alright guys, so it looks like we've chilled out the enemy forces and we have cleared a 15 minute game. Or is it 18 minutes? It doesn't matter. Either way, they we broke their spirits and in the hopefully we're gonna hopefully give you guys the way to break your enemy spirits as well. Make sure to enjoy the outro. Chowder. You should sub and make sure to hit that like button to brighten up our day. Don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. You can also click near me for YouTube suggestions. Or you can click near me for more me dear content. They come around for me. Till next time, apprentices. Chowder! Chowder.